On the bright side, despite all the chaos and heartbreak surrounding severe weather events, I don't plan on giving up being a Sky One Storm Spotter. I'm going to continue being a Sky One Storm Spotter. I'm going to continue to study the weather. I'm going to continue to read about the weather, to study it. I'm going to continue on with my dreams and goals. I'm just having to accept the reality that during severe weather outbreaks, even the best of meteorologists can't save everybody. Unfortunately, when it comes to severe weather, the tornadoes are getting bigger, the storms are getting stronger. I mean, it's just reality. People are going to suffer when there's severe weather. It's just a reality that we all have to face. It doesn't make it easy, though, but I do my best to be the best weather person I am. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not a meteorology student. I'm just a weather enthusiast who loves to study and track and chase weather. And I have a heart and passion for the weather. But I realize that due to how demanding it is to become a meteorologist, how expensive it is to even go to school in the first place, I kind of face the reality that I may never actually become a full-fledged meteorologist. I see myself just being a weather enthusiast, being a sky-worn storm spotter. I mean, I'm already that, but... It's just ever since getting involved with the weather and being into the weather community, I have faced some pretty hard challenges and some pretty hard, tough reality, and... I just gotta say that sometimes I feel like quitting completely, even the sky warm. Just I feel like just taking all my weather stuff and just throwing it away. But then I realize, you know, why would I throw something away that I love so much? I think I'm just speak out of grief and stress. So yes, I do say that. I'm going to quit sometimes, but we all say we're going to quit sometimes. We're human. Even Dr. Gray Forrest probably has an upsetting day at work, and sometimes he asks himself why he bothers. We all have emotions and feelings, and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's pretty much, you know, why I had to take some time off. I'm not really a professional meteorologist. No one should rely on me as far as a forecast goes. But I get involved with these little weather groups and these weather channels on Zello and they want you to watch a radar for them and you know confirm severe weather here and there and and it's hard because they expect so much. They expect so much out of a weather enthusiast who's never really has never gotten through meteorology school and I'm not anywhere near being a professional meteorologist so Sometimes I feel like the weather community expects way too much, even out of a simple sky-worn storm spotter. And it does get very stressful. It, it's like, some days I just want to tell them to just back off. You know, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I mean, I'm a sky-worn storm spotter. That's all I am. I'm not Dr. Gray Forbes. I don't have money to buy the best iPhone or the best laptops. I don't have the codes and the money for the most powerful radar program they have out there. I only have what I have and I know that a lot of people look at me and they don't think I'm good enough. They look at me due to my lack of resources, due to my lack of proper equipment. I, I appear to be a pretty lousy weather person to a lot of people. But I am doing my best. And the way I see weather, I don't see it like a typical meteorologist or a typical weather person. I am an artist. My mind works in an artistic way. Meaning that I get into the weather emotionally and creatively. So 
when I'm dealing with these uh, weather channels and weather groups, I'm talking to other weather enthusiasts, and they're so darn square, I always bump heads with them because I'm thinking, why do you all got to be so square? You know, they're all into their little weather channels on Zello, and they're like, you need to say 10-4 or 10-6. And some of these weather enthusiasts out there, they're literally telling me what to do how to speak, how to act, and it gets very frustrating sometimes, so that's why some days I'm like, I just want to quit the weather field, I'm tired of people getting hurt by storms, and I'm tired of the weather community being bossy, but at the end of the day, I realize that I'm just speaking out of frustration, and I am going to pick up the pieces and move on, and and that's that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to quit doing what I love to do.